my name is Jay Fulkerson. I hope you're well. I want to tell you why now is the investment opportunity of a lifetime. And reading the comments over the last few weeks, I really want to highlight why you should be looking for deals right now, because now could be the best time ever to invest. So let's deep dive into that in this video. While you're here, make sure you do two things for me. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. We're on the way to 7,000 subscribers. I think we'll hit it this week. You can see around this video where we're at right now. So smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. And we want to get 100,000 views on the video in August. How can you help me do that? By smashing that like button, guys. If you smash the like button, it pushes it out to more people on YouTube. So do your little bit and smash that like button right now. So, comments. I read all the comments on here. In fact, I personally reply to every single comment that we get on this channel, unless you're a crypto robot and then one of my team deletes those. But every real comment that we get, I personally respond to those. And I'm seeing a lot of people saying, if you buy a property now, you're crazy. It's the worst time to buy because the market's gonna crash so much. Now, here's why I think those people are wrong when they say that. You see, right now, there is a percentage of the market that knows that house prices are going to go down. And so they're pricing their property very realistically because they want money. Now, in the last couple of years, two or three years, it's been really hard to find good deals. And I started this channel about a year ago now. And the goal of the channel was to show my investment journey for my two daughters. So I have two girls. I've got Georgia, who's 22 years old. I've got Emily, who's two years old. I've already got my property portfolio. I'm going to add to that. But I want to make sure if something happens to me, that they've also got a property portfolio as well. And so what I'm doing is building that. And over the year, when I started out looking for, for properties for Georgia, and we've got two so far, we've got a house in Doncaster that we purchased for 60 and got revalued for 100 grand after a quick refurb. And we've got a flat in Dorking that we overpaid for. And the reason we took that one was because basically uh, it was in a property, in a, in a block where we already own other properties. So it made our strength in there a little bit stronger. Even that one with the rising market has done okay. We made about 15 grand in equity so far. Nothing special, but it, it helps, right? But you can't pay your bills with equity. But what I want to say is that during that first initial period when I was looking for Georgia, I was really finding it hard to buy properties. I checked lots of auctions and what I was seeing was guide prices would be at 30 grand and then the houses would sell for 100 grand and you'd look on Zoopla at sold in that street and they were selling for 100 grand through an agent. So I didn't really see the, the point in having the time pressure of going through an auction where I've got to complete in 28 days and it's really expensive and all these sorts of things. And so we really struggled to find deals. But now it's a different kind of market. At the moment, I'm looking at around five different deals We've got one that's going through. We've got a second that we're looking to, to put through at the moment. And it hasn't been like this for a while. Now, not every deal is good. So when you're looking, if you look in Dorking, for example, there's a lot of one bedroom flats for sale. Too many, in fact. Right next to me there is uh, six flats that were built. And there <laughs> behind you in the camera is another four flats that were built. And behind that, is another four flats that are built and they're all struggling to sell at the moment. Now I speak to the developers because the parking here has been a pain in the butt for a few months or pretty much two years. So I've got friendly with them so we try and not fall out. But we've had discussions and I'm always interested to know about other people's opinion on investing. And what they're saying to me is that they're fortunate that they're bigger investors. They haven't got a lot of debt on there. They've got rid of their bridging loans and stuff like that. So they're just sitting on those properties. They can't sell at a loss. They're not willing to sell at a loss. And so they're probably just gonna rent those properties out, either on Airbnb or short term, but still have it for sale at the same time. And hopefully the market, somebody will buy. So the majority of the market isn't willing to drop their prices. And I've done the viewings, I've offered all these guys around here, lease options, delayed completions, and all that stuff. 
not interested one bit, that's fine. But there is another portion of the market that must sell. And it doesn't matter whether it's today or in two years from now, a good deal is a good deal, right? And so the property that I'm going through at the moment was listed for a while at 170K, right? It was listed for 170K. Then it went off the market for a little bit. Then they came back and they said, look, we'll drop it. We want 140. And this is a probate sale. And that means if you don't know, somebody's died, unfortunately, one of their relatives had died. They've inherited the property. No mortgage on it. They just want the cash, right? And they're quite open about it. They say, we want to go on a nice holiday. We'll take all our family on a nice holiday to remember our relative that passed away. Now, that property has been dropping and we've offered 120. And we were going to complete like next week because we're going to buy with cash. But the problem that we've had with that is their probate isn't ready. They said it was. It's not. So there's been a bit of a delay on that. You'll still see it when it completes. Uh, we'll do some tours because it needs a renovation and stuff like that. But the fact is that the last time a property in Dorking, a flat sold for 120 grand, we're in the southeast, just in case you're unsure geographically where I'm based, Dorking in Surrey near Gatwick Airport, right? And so the last time a property in this area within a five mile radius sold for 120 grand, like was 2013, or that's when the most prices were around that, 2013. Now, I know for a fact that that property is probably worth nearer the 170 and could get valued at that with a surveyor once it's done up, their problem was there isn't just enough buyers in the market at the moment. And so they're stuck. And so there are people that want a fast sale. They want that transaction done because they would rather lose 20 grand but have 120 in the bank rather than risk the market going south. They've got that worry in them that everyone sees in the market. Market might crash 35%, whatever. They've got that concern and it's not money, it's actually a liability to them at the moment. They're paying the council tax, they're paying standing charges on the electric. It's costing them money every single month that it's just empty. They don't wanna be a buy-to-let landlord, they're not interested in that. In fact, they don't have the money to be a buy-to-let landlord because it needs a refurb before that goes through. So this deal stacks. Why wouldn't I buy it today? Why wouldn't I buy it? And what worries me is that there's some really smart people watching channels like mine or any other channel and they're being put off. You should always be looking for deals because there are certain people that just need to sell. There could be people that are struggling in their business. They wanna sell a flat that they own to save their business. If you can come and give them a good cash offer, then that can help them survive. Whereas if they try and sell it at the true market value and just sit there waiting for a buyer to come along, they won't get that price or it'll take six months or a year and then maybe they lose the flat and they lose the business. And so right now, I would say in the market, from my observation, and this could be utter gibberish compared to where you guys are based, but I see that around 5% of the market need a sell now. They need a sell now. And so those 5% are the people that you want to speak to. We did a video the other day. There are 8,000... 900 landlords in arrears right now. They're in arrears. They're gonna get their property repossessed. So they need a fast sale. Now, they might want to sell their house for 100 grand, right? Maybe they want 100 grand for it, but they're not gonna get that. They're not gonna get that. And if they wait, the house will get repossessed. But let's just say they've only got a 50K mortgage on it and you gave them 70. Would they rather have 20 grand profit before the taxes would they rather have £20,000 profit or zero when that house gets repossessed? That's what is exciting in this market right now is there are deals like that now. There are 8,900 landlords that have distressed properties. They're in arrears. They need a fast sale. They might consider strategies like a lease option. So what I'm trying to get across to you is don't be blinkered and think that you should wait for the whole market to crash because these guys here that are selling to me at 120 or this guy that might sell for 70 someone else might come and take that deal 
in that time. Now, the rest of the market might come down and they might have all the houses for sale for 80 grand, which is cheaper than 100. But you've missed a good deal. And the good deals are there. There's 5% of them, in my opinion, in that market right now. So go and look for them and get ready because they can stack up. And if you can put it on a mortgage and the rate stacks up because you buy it at the right price, then yes, mortgage rates will come down in the future. But if you can make some cash right now, get that cash flow fixed and then you'll do even better. That's all I have to say on that today. So while you're here, smash that like button. Go and check out some other content because that's going to help me get my 100,000 views and you'll learn something as well. Why don't you go and check out this video right here.